In a world where we need ever more security and features that allow us to feel safe and secure, encrypting one's connection to and from a database seems like the next logical step for most of us. However, this does generate some problems, and one of them that comes up is the question that I was posed the other day. Why is it the certificate I generated I can't see within SQL? Now, the question in general isn't that much of a problem, and here's a quick explanation. The gentleman in question had a always-on cluster, so he needs to generate at least two or more DNS names, because you need to be, have both the cluster node, which is the active node, as well as the cluster package, or the availability group. Now, that in itself doesn't really present much of a problem, but he thought, oh, I just need the one certificate and I'll add all of these in as DNS variables. Now, that came out as a reasonably good idea, and under general logic, you'd think, yeah, that's a perfectly valid point. Why not just add all three and be done with it? So, to answer that question, I figured it's best to actually show you the result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create the first certificate with multiple nodes and availability groups. And when it's created, what you're going to see, or not see as the case may be, is it doesn't show up. Now, the explanation for this is very simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off creation of the key. And then I'll give you the demonstration as to what you don't see and also what you should see, because I'll do it again and I'll do it properly the second time around. So the key is successfully created. Now we're gonna go check in the MMC in the local machine and see what that looks like. So first of all, just confirm the host name. Now we're gonna go and check under the MMC, do a quick refresh. There's our newly generated certificate. We check who it was issued to, uh, the subject, so who it was issued, the CN. Then we go down to the DNS and we can see our three listings. Now, all looks good on paper, so we should be able to use this, right? So we go to our SQL Configuration Manager, we look for the certificate, and as we can see, we can't see it. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, that doesn't make sense. I have a certificate, so let's try again. We're gonna delete this one, and we're just gonna create another one um, with one subtle difference. And this is the problem. Whichever node you're importing the certificate to has to be the one in the subject field. And the subject field is always going to be the first entry in the DNS. So from this point of view, if you have a cluster, you need to create as many certificates as you have cluster nodes. So whilst you can always have the availability group listed in the DNS, you must always have the node as the first listed. So it doesn't matter if you have a secondary and a primary node, you need to always have two certificates. If you have three nodes, three certificates. And this is demonstrated by what we can see here. This is something that is inherent in SQL. It must always be the issued to node. Hopefully you found this video useful, and if you did, like and subscribe to my channel.